Hey there everyone, my name is Steve Philby and I'm the producer on Dead Cells since pretty much day one. Um, here again for our yearly attempt at making a vlog series happen. Probably won't last, but we'll see how we go. Um, so for anyone who's out of a loop, we've just released our 14th update of Dead Cells. Uh, it's called Who's the Boss? Kind of edgy name there. And uh, what we're bringing here is six new mobs and seven new weapons, which, uh, as you might have already guessed from the name of the update, are all based around the, the bosses of Dead Cells. So one of the, the main issues that we found that new players uh, of Dead Cells have is their basically their inability to sort of practice against the boss before they actually rock up and, and get rolled. Um, so you know people spend 30 to 45 minutes in a run uh, just to, to get wrecked in the very first phase of a boss because uh, of the new patterns and they've never really come across that before. So to help uh, overcome this problem, we created a bunch of mini versions of the bosses and each one of them is sort of designed to perform one of the most dangerous attacks of, of the other uh, of the big bosses. So for example, the, the sweeper is going to teach you to jump above that trailing flame um, that you come across for the first time with the concierge, which you can't block, which is different. Uh, the automaton is going to teach you to react to the yellow light of death that you get from the timekeeper and so on and so forth. So you're going to find each one of these uh, new companions um, in, in uh, the biome immediately preceding the boss fight. So um, yeah, go check them out and that might help you get through the game a little bit, a little bit easier. Okay, on to the new items. So, you know, we've really always loved the idea of being able to um, steal the power from a boss, you know, after you defeat them. That's obviously a classic video game trope. I mean, it's kind of satisfying perhaps in some deeper uh, revenge filled way after you've, sat you've suffered your way through a boss fight. Uh, so we picked uh, an iconic move of each of the bosses and then we turned it into a skill or a weapon that we'll hope that you'll get a lot of fun out of beating the heck out of either the boss itself or the enemies proceeding. Um, and so finally the long asked for pan is actually now in the game. People have been uh, wanting that pan I think since we released the animated trailer and so it's got quite a short range um, but it really does hit like a Mack truck when you get in and, and close the gap on the enemy. So last but not least, um, Who's the Boss adds uh, three new mut mutations um, into the game. Uh, they're designed to reward the, the glass cannon and melee tactics playstyle. Um, so it's, it's never going to be as safe as a ranged tactics build or a survival build. Uh, but we feel like the, it's, a, it's a build that's a lot of fun to play. Um, and we hope that you know, we can sort of make it more viable uh, for people who like to play that way to enjoy the game. Uh, so, you know, obviously then we included a whole bunch of other stuff. Quality of life improvements, balancing, tweaks, bug fixes. You know, all of that is available in the patch notes as usual. And... Um, we're actually organizing an Ask Me Anything on Reddit tomorrow, uh, so the day after the, the update comes out. And um, yeah, if you've got any questions that you want to ask about the recent changes, anything that we're planning in the future, just to shoot the breeze or to throw out some crazy ideas, share some fan art, we'll be there and we'd be glad to have a chat. Alright, so that's it for vlog number, I think it's got to be number six. Um, but before we go, we've got one last sort of question for you. Um, how, how valuable would you find a vlog format as opposed to, say, uh, a trailer or a written blog um, with, you know, kind of like an essay listing all of the new content and why we did it? Um, if you could let us know whether you think the vlogs are cool and whether we should try and make a, a seventh one, that'd be great. Anyway, thank you very much for hanging around to the end of the video. Hope you have a great day and we'll, we'll see you around soon.